Welcome back 643. We see them around here quite often. The beloved migrating monarch butterfly has now been placed on the endangered species list just as of yesterday. That is two steps away from becoming extinct. Researchers believe their declining numbers are good indicators of how healthy our ecosystems are and a healthy intact ecosystem can prevent things like the spread of mass disease or decline in nature. Sarah Costa talked with an expert about what's causing the decline in monarch butterflies preservation measures, and a small glimmer of hope that may keep them from going extinct. Monarchs are known for pollinating flowers across North America through their seasonal migration. I personally loved watching the monarchs that emerged in my own garden in the fall. This is my second monarch to emerge. I'm really excited because he's been hanging out on my fingers for the last hour or so. But the monarch population has declined by 90% in the past two decades, according to federal scientists. One of the main reasons is climate change causing extreme heat, drought, and other weather events. We can get these extreme years, but on average, we're getting more extreme years. Dr. Karen Oberhauser, professor of entomology at the University of Wisconsin, has been studying monarchs for 30 years. She is concerned about the extreme heat and drought the South is having this year because it will impact monarch food source. The nectar plants won't be producing as much nectar, so the flowers are dried up. In some cases, they're not even around anymore. Another reason for the decline, she says, is mass use of pesticides, which has resulted in habitat loss for monarchs. For example, she says a lot of the milkweed, the prime food source for monarchs, used to grow in corn and soybean fields. Now farmers can control all weeds in their fields with herbicides because the plants are genetically modified to resist herbicides. But there is good news. Scientists have used this data to raise a massive amount of awareness. 23 states, including Texas, have committed to preserving monarch habitat, especially in the past 10 years. Oberhauser says because of this awareness to protect monarch habitat, the numbers aren't on the trend of severe decline like they were 20 years ago. There are a lot of people that are making efforts to increase the amount of habitat that's available to make up for all that habitat that we lost in agricultural fields. But we're, we're kind of holding our own because we're adding habitat at the same time we're subtracting habitat. So I think that monarch numbers probably would still be declining if people weren't doing as much as they're doing now. Oberhauser says it's important to protect our monarchs, not because our ecosystems will collapse without them, but because they are a flagship indicator of how intact our ecosystems are. Remember, healthy ecosystems keep humans healthy, safe from disease spread and nature decline. If things are going badly for monarchs, they're going badly for a lot of other things. So they're they're an indicator of how things are going. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News.